In the starting gate for the Maple Leaf Trot. Swings off the top of the stretch. Here they come. And there they go. They're off and trotting off stride. Marseille jumped it off, as did Soul Strong. Soul Strong quickly resets. Out quickly from the outside, Crystal Fashion. McClure's got that one off to a fast beginning. Guardian Angel AS put into play as well. In between, Lindy the Great. And look at second tier starter Manchego, a handful for Louis Waugh, but he's able to get her floated out to fourth from that second tier. Then following that one, the other special, Mayor Atlanta, is away fifth. There's Jim Panzee, settled in sixth early on. The triple millionaire, Marion Marauder, has got a seat from seventh through a 26 and three opening quarter. Then it is back to Soul Strong. Run director in the early breaker, Mark. Marseille. They battle parked out into that backstretch. Leading now is Lindy the Great taking over, but Manchego rolls to the front for Louis Waugh, and Manchego is now on top. Coming up to the midway point, it's Manchego by two. Lindy the Great trotting second. In third, that is Crystal Fashion. Outside fourth, first over, Jameson with Guardian Angel AS. Half in 54 and three. Atlanta's following the cover. Third over, that's Jim Panzee. He's about 10 off of the lead. Then inside is Soul Strong. Outside of that one, Mary Marauder, followed by Run Director of Marseille, but Manchego Manchego has opened up five on Lindy the Great heading to the final turn. It is Manchego, powerful on top. Second right now is Lindy the Great. Outside third is Guardian Angel AS. Here comes Atlanta, three wide for Jingra. Three quarters in 122, 27 and two in that third panel. And Manchego turns for home in the Maple Leaf trot on a lead of three. Here's Atlanta closing down the center of the track. Following in behind, that is Jim Panzi. Atlanta takes over the lead for Jingra. It is Atlanta with the lead in deep stretch. Atlanta with a 16th of a mile to go, gets clear late, and Atlanta, second last year, this year she wins. It's Atlanta on the Maple Leaf trot by four. Holding second, that's Lindy the Great on the outside. Third is Jim Panzee. Atlanta in 150 and four to equal the stakes record. Good to go closer, Mike. Okay. All right, there we go, guys. Look in here. All right, big smiles, guys. Look in here. <laughs> that is off. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Atlanta captures the 2020 edition of the Maple Leaf Trot 150 and four, equaling the stakes record and joined by driver Yannick Gingrad. Yannick, uh, amazing the difference a week can make. Obviously we saw last week what happened in the Armbro flight. Never felt like you guys had much concern. She bounces back beautifully here tonight. Honestly, all the credit goes to Ron Burke. Um, you know, he knows the horses. It's amazing. A guy like him with the brain he has, he has 300 horses. And right away after the race last week, he called me and he said, you know, you know, he said, you know, I know what the problem is. We changed his shoes four starts back. He went good for a start. The next start, it was a little worse and it was a little worse. And, and then last week she made a break, you know, but uh, the memory that guy has is uh, unreal. And uh, all the credits to him tonight because uh, she definitely bounced back big. Take us through the race here as we're going to three quarters. Obviously, Manchego opens up the big lead, goes a huge third quarter there. Uh, how are you feeling as you guys were turning for home? Obviously, I had some ground to make up, but that was a hot tempo that you were chasing. Yeah, you know, I, you know, I mean, she, she definitely looked pretty strong there, Manchego, at the 5'8", and even going around last turn, but mine felt so strong. You know, she really did. You know, I, was, I had a handful of trot in the last turn, and when I tipped her, she came off the cover like like a sports car. She was trotting so fast. I, d I knew right then at the top of the stretch, even though he was up by five, I knew I'd catch him. Um, she, she was tremendous. A win in a field like this uh, definitely uh, stamps her as one of the all-time greats, doesn't it? Uh, I think she was already, and for sure, uh, it even stamps it even more. You know, she's a tremendous field mayor, and uh, to do it uh, for so many years in a row, and she, she you know, Part of, the, part of the, the thing is my fault, too. I don't give them their, that many good trips like tonight. Uh, maybe I should learn from, from tonight. <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations. We'll bring in winning owner Thank Brad you. Grant. Uh, Yannick, I think, is uh, really enjoying his time up here at Woodbine Mohawk Park. And somebody from right in the area, right in his own backyard, Brad Grant, joins me. Uh, how does this win feel? Obviously, it's been a real trying year for everybody. But to finally be able to, first of all, come back here to the track and to get in the winner's circle with this fantastic mare. Oh, I don't know what to say. I mean, it's... Uh... 
you know, to do it here. I wish it was crowded, but uh, she's a great mayor. And Ronnie said after last week, not to worry. Made a couple of adjustments, and he said we'll win her. So. It doesn't get much better than that, does it? I mean, looking at all the horses that you have, and you're a big part of this sport, um, and with the way things have gone this year, um, first of all, was there a time when you wondered if races like this might not happen? Um, yeah, I would think so. We were worried up here, at least I was. Um, but, you know, Mohawk Woodbine, they've worked hard uh, to get it going and, you know, kept all the big races here in the States. A lot of the big races have been shut down for the year. So um, it's great that they're having this and keep it going. All right, well, obviously you've had a lot of success with the ladies on the trotting side here. Uh, it must be pretty special. Uh, you couldn't enjoy one of the big wins uh, south of the border, but to do this one here, uh, congratulations. Thank you very much. All right, Atlanta, 150-4 and four, wins the Maple Leaf Trot.